Hello, my name is Larnicus. I'm from Sound and Music. In this video, I'll demonstrate some of the features for Zoom, which are very useful for making music or teaching music online using the Zoom app. This is a follow up from our online sessions, Zoom for Composer, which took place earlier this spring. As you can see, I've already opened a window and started a meeting in Zoom. So I'm just going to dive in straight into the settings. In the bottom left corner, there's your mute button, and next to it, a little arrow. If you click that, you can immediately see you can choose a microphone or speaker, but we want to go to audio settings. Here, you can get a bit more detail in some of the settings. Um, very strongly recommend uh, if you are doing music using Zoom is to get a USB mic. Doesn't have to be the most expensive. Any basic USB mic will be much better than the built-in mic on your computer or phone. Um, this option automatically adjusts volume, I would disable. I'm going to put myself here. Um, this means that uh, you, Zoom is not going to adjust the microphone levels depending on how loud or softly you speak, which is really great. So play around and find the level that works for you and leave it at that. Next, if we go to advanced settings, uh, we want to enable this option. Show in meeting option to enable original sound from microphone. Click that, and I'll explain about that in a second. We also want to disable these two filters. Um, and then that's it. We go back to the call. And you can see now there's a little button in the top left corner saying turn on original sound. Zoom is optimized for conferencing and speech. And as such, it's got built-in filters, which are very smart at canceling all background noise. They also tend to identify any sustained sound as a background noise and suppress it. So if you try to play a long sustained note in an instrument, it will automatically sound very wah-wah-y and fade out. If you turn on original sound, what it does is it suppresses all of those filters and allows your voice and sound and music to just travel through as it is. Um, this is really, really great for playing music um, and or for doing anything else that requires subtle sound. You can always turn it on and off, uh, just by clicking that button, and I've turned it back off. Uh, another very useful feature back in the audio settings, if you go under recording, is you can choose to record a separate audio file for each participant who speaks. Again, very useful if you intend to record a session uh, and then use those files to play with or edit or sync in one way or another. If you go under share screen, that's another useful feature here. If you're sharing a Finale or Sibelius file or a YouTube video and you want to play the sound, tick here where it says Share Computer Sound, and this feeds directly the sound from your computer to the participants rather than it going through your headphones. Um, ooh, let's go back to Share Screen and Advanced Settings under Share Screen. You can also choose to share music or computer sound only. If you do that, any sound you play, any file you play on your computer, the sound will go directly through the computer to the participants, speakers. And remember to stop share when you've stopped sharing. That's it. There's more details and more info in a file that we'll put together following the three online sessions called Zympho Composers. You can find the link in the description, um, as well as other links for how others have used Zoom to rehearse online. Um, and other, other signposting for how to use Ableton with Zoom and so on. Um, remember to check back on our page, soundandmusic.org. There is a COVID-19 response page with uh, links for our upcoming Zoom sessions, as well as other awards and support for composers and music makers. That's it. Any questions, comments, complaints, just drop us a line um, or leave us a message. That's it. Thank you very much.